Let me introduce you to Slack. Recently I've been playing around with this tool to solve some of my communication uh, challenges with a team. And I found this program called Slack. And it's actually free to use for a while uh, until you get to higher levels where you need to pay for some additional features. But it's really great. So let me show you a little bit about what Slack is and what it does. So I'm here on slack.com. If I scroll down a little bit, I can take a tour of Slack and I'll just show you a little bit more about this program. Okay, and this really is awesome team communication. And here's the tagline, right? Imagine all your team's communication in one place, instantly searchable, available wherever you go. That's Slack. Okay, so to start off with, there's like a Twitter-like communication where you can communicate on different channels. So basically, you can click on any one of these channels and then just start typing and having a conversation with people. But more than just little messages and communication back and forth, you can attach files and all kinds of stuff, videos. You can integrate Dropbox and Google Drive. And you can really begin to share and collaborate on different projects quite easily. And that file sharing is quite useful because Slack is going to organize all of your information into one place. So you don't have to be going out to Dropbox to get something or to go to Google Drive and inserting some document that you're collaborating on. You can do it all in Slack and then Slack will link out to all those places. So it's pretty cool. Now, I haven't used search too much yet because we're just getting started with this, but I can see that once you start to amass a lot of different conversations and you want to search through those and find things that you talked about, that search is going to be very valuable. Okay, and if you're watching these slides pop by, you're seeing some neat features. It works in a browser, it works on a phone, and you even get, get integration with Notification Center on your Mac. So it's got some pretty neat bells and whistles. Okay, I'm just going to scroll through this. And so that's a good introductory tour of Slack. So if you're ready to get started, you can fill in your email, your company name, and sign up for free. Uh, and that will just get your, your Slack group or your Slack team going. Okay, but I'm going to assume that you're already coming from a team, a team that's starting to use Slack. So when you start a Slack group, you're able to invite people via email. So I'm going to assume you got an email invitation. So I'm just going to launch mail. And you'll see my invitation here. And all I need to do is click here to activate my account. And then I'm going to very quickly just set up that account. Fill in my username. and fill in a password. Okay, great. Now because I'm on a Mac, I'm going to do something that will make Slack even more powerful. I'm going to enable desktop notifications. Okay, so Slack needs my permission, so I'm going to click up here. And I'm going to enable desktop notifications. And in the browser, I'm going to click allow. Okay, success. So now Slack will be able even if my web browser is not open, Slack will be able to notify me of things that happen in the conversation. So say I go away, turn off my computer. Uh, when I turn it back on, Slack is able to notify me of certain things that have happened or conversations that have gone on while I've been away. So that's pretty neat. Okay, But let's take a look at Slack. Here's your basic interface, right? You're going to get this welcome, and this will take you through another tour so you can see all the features. I'm going to just continue through this tour. It's highlighting some of its cooler features. Okay, and now you can install apps for your PC, Mac, iPhone, Android. Just go ahead and click on the one that you want. 
whether you want uh, a iPhone app, an Android app, something for your Mac or Windows or even Chrome has a little plug-in for Slack. All right, now you've got these little bubbles here highlighting some features in the app. So if you click on that, you'll go through a, an interactive tour to learn how to use Slack. So let's click on this. This is talking about the channels here. And it just tells you how channels are organizing different conversations. So you can just click through the channels to have different conversations on certain topics. And there's two channels to start off with, a general and a random, and this is what they're for. You'll be notified of unread messages, mentions, direct messages, very similar to Twitter if you used to using Twitter. Okay, now this feature is really neat because if you go away and say you don't open up Slack for a couple of days or a week and you finally get around to opening it, uh, the unread counts will tell you kind of what you missed in the meantime while you were not using Slack. So that's a great way to catch up on different conversations. Did you see that? A couple of new messages from the Slack bot. And if you noticed up here in the top right corner, those messages also popped into Notification Center. So that's a great power feature for the Mac. Well, we're still going through our tour, so I'm going to click here. So this is just some basic information about the accounts and how you can set some of your preferences. We're not going to look at any of that right now, so I'm just going to click away. Uh, let's look at this part of the tour right now. This is the message box, and this is where you're going to click into to type a lot of your messages. Okay, and type here to send a message. You can send longer messages than Twitter. So whatever you want to say, just put it in the box and hit enter. One thing to note is that you want to select a channel first and then type your message so that that message will go into the correct channel. That just helps you with your conversations. And this arrow button will allow you to upload files and share files. And this is really where a lot of the power of Slack comes in because a lot of time teams are working on different files, different projects, and Slack will just keep the files along with the conversations so you're really organized in your work and in your sharing. Okay, so that's pretty much it. If I want to write a message, remember I'm in the general channel, and I can click in the message box and just write a message. Okay, and there I've posted that in the general. All right, so the next thing that to do with Slack is just start talking to people and collaborating with people. You can see that we're just getting started with this. Uh, this is my church group that I'm trying to get started on Slack. So we're just getting started collaborating. There's not a whole lot of messages yet, but more messages will be coming soon. So perhaps in another video we can take a look at using mobile apps as well as how the conversation starts to get going and you get some good collaboration. But for now, uh, check out Slack. It's a great way to collaborate and get some conversation going on whatever project you're working on.